I am here to give you feedback on your run. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to DM me directly or pin me in a rip thread. Um, nice walk so far, by the way. This one, this one looks like a river to me, but it's probably fine. Obviously, you just kind of saw that one stick metaphorically. Oh, man. The flint. What could have been if you had a TNT? But since you don't, shears are totally fine, so... Crafting's a little bit odd. Definitely get more consistent in that. Also, while this... I didn't even realize it until right now. So, um, like, while this entire thing's going on, your RD... And ED still aren't turned up. To where, like, you don't know, like, really what's out there at the moment. Or, sorry, your ED at least isn't turned up. So that way, like, you could be spending, like, this time here, like, looking much better for ravines and stuff instead of just, like, spending, like, a bit of time here just, like, scanning. Like, this is obviously just slower than, like, seeing while you're mining a tree. Like, this, this ravine could have easily been spotted while you're mining trees. Do we do double grab? Nope. Double grab is really nice for leaves. Obviously, also technically more challenging. Um... Up to you on whether or you want to learn it. I'd recommend it, though. Um, you don't have to, like, turn down your R... Or, not your RD, your FOV. You can just use your thin macro for the exact same effect. Not a bad idea going all the way up here. Yeah, especially with leaves, this is probably just the correct play. Okay, you have two fast holds that you could go for. So, <clears throat> be intentional with how you're throwing this gold. Like, there's there's a couple of things here. So, one is, like, if you do this correct, you just, like, continue on mining stuff, right? Ooh. Unless. Could initially see this. Did you hit a guy? No. You didn't. Okay. Like, throwing it... Throwing gold into that corner is really good. But also be intentional with how you're throwing this gold because when you throw it here, you might get pigs to go down into this hole, like this area here, 
and that takes away your opportunity to do the two fast pulls, which is like time, like several seconds slower than um, like in taking away the the fast pulls, it's several seconds slower than doing the fast pulls. So be intentional with how you're throwing the pulls. It didn't end up mattering still. To where you could still do either one of these fast pulls. Like this is the one that most people do. And then this is a really good one that's easily available. Um, but then this is just like objectively slower. Safer for sure, but objectively slower. I like that you're messing with your pie chart here. So that way you know where the spawner is. Or at least the distance to the spawner. Take some time and organize your inventory. Yeah, there's just a ton of shit that you can throw out. Like, don't even worry about crafting anything. Just worry about throwing stuff out. Like, your inventory is clogged, and it's just gross. Oh, leave out the back. I see it. Oh, throw out pearls? Just sort your pearls. No shot. Oh, you already have two stacks. You didn't see the one in the corner. It's fine. Ah. Unlucky. No, it's not that bad, though. Good. Something tells me that you don't have, like, a setup hot bar for when you're, like, curling and everything. I'd recommend doing it. Like, even if it's, like, like, you have to get into your inventory for food. And because, oh my, oh man. Yeah, like, you have to get into your inventory for food, and that's just not super ideal. Not to mention, like... You don't have Avi on the bar. Like, you don't need it at the moment, but still. The overlap in the Bastion for getting, like, a better weapon as well. Like, also just wasn't done. Stand on the back right of this block. He's trying to pathfind to you, not, like, up to get to you. Be Pay attention to your sec. Oh, and now we're going to get slow healing. Pay attention to your health and your um, <clears throat> hunger bar, so that way you can most effectively, like, use your food. Saturation is such an important value when it comes to your food. no idea the distance, but I'm assuming that you did everything right. It looks good. Oh, 
it turns just fine. Let's see. Um, yeah, just not a lot to say here. You could, like, you have several cod. Don't you? Am I crazy? Am I hallucinating the cod? No, you can just, like, pearl here. Like, three cod is more than enough for a close end game. Like, as soon as you land here, it's like, you have three C, you know that you're, like, slightly far. Just, like, toss a pearl to get up, like, over here. You save, like, seven seconds or some shit. And then, like, even, even if you pearl there, like, like, if you're planning on death resetting, the pearl there is just, like, better so that way you can, like, more effectively death reset. When was Hover Hitbox made again? A month ago? Maybe. When, when did you make this? Three weeks ago? Okay, so Hover Hitbox wasn't a thing here. Which means that you don't necessarily know what it is, but you end up doing it pretty well. If you don't know it, uh, here's a bit of advice. Um, when you do hover hitbox, it's better to just always highlight blocks just for the consistent reading. Um, and like the best way to do that outside of the portal is just like indoors. Um, so that way you can get like even more accurate reading. Oh, hold on. Did you not do hover, hover hitbox? Am I crazy? Oh no, you didn't wiggle. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, hover hitbox would be very, very strong here. Because you would immediately be able to discern like this just isn't a thing. Highly recommend it. Obviously, I think you're going to death reset. That's why that pearl would have been even stronger. Because then you'd be on one and a half hearts. But it's okay. Do this while pearls are in the air in the end. Practice that and you'll see like better time, I think. Uh oh, nervousness. Nervous shaking. Or high sensitivity, but either way. Not great. Like kinda messed up the pearl or kinda messed up the Yeah, the pearl there. Oh dear. Okay, Andrew has a wonderful video on endgames, and one of the things that he's highlighted in it that I 100% agree with is that endgames are meant for you to, like, do nerd control. So, like, all the way back here, like, I don't, like, obviously close blind, right? As soon as you see it's a close blind, you need to start, like, coping like not the meme coping but like actually practicing a coping skill with the like sudden spike of adrenaline and noradrenaline and everything that um cortisol all of that kind of stuff that your body is experiencing and the best way that i recommend doing that during runs is breathing um Personally, I use the physiological sigh. You can Google it. Andrew Huberman has a pretty good video on how to do it. But, like, right here, like, you're not super nervous. But, like, as soon as you get to this zero, like, the lack of, like, nerve management is, like, messing with you. And, like, you could easily lose this zero. Like, right here, I think. Because you don't have blocks. Like, you could just fall there, pearl clutch, and then, like, lose to perch, right? Um, so, like, that's, that's huge feedback, actually. Um, hopefully, 
over the next couple of days, I'm able to release this mental doc that I've been working on for a while. Um, if not, that's okay. If so, um, definitely give it a read. Yeah, like, I'm sure that you hit this shit ten times out of ten in practice, especially, like, the bossy stuff. Yeah, and, like, you still hit it because it's, like, a pretty easy zero. But it's, like, it's it's definitely a sloppy zero. But a completed zero and a completed sub nine is still very beautiful. Um, yeah, the biggest thing has to be the nerf control. Um, but in terms of in game stuff, um, like inventory management, HP and food management, all of that kind of thing definitely will elevate you to the next level once you get that down. So, well played.